Time for the business news now with Nona Peltier. Nona, consumer spending, let's start with that. Yeah. So this is with debt and credit cards. It's up. What are we talking numbers-wise? Yeah, so it's not just, uh, yeah, it's debit and credit cards that yeah. people are using. And it accounts for, I guess, about 80% of spending these days. And it's all kinds of spending, whether it's online or in a store or what have you. And it's uh, really ticked up. It rose 8% last month, which is a, a fairly good hike. And what kind of things were people buying? It was sort of everything furniture hardware uh, appliances recreational goods hey snow gear so a lot of people must be having a good time on the slopes pent up spending or savings from the lockdown one wonders <laughs> oh, and, it's hard you know. to know and uh it's but it's really everything and it, it could be potentially pent up demand it could be that um, you know people are just hey they're going to spend their holidays in new zealand so they might as well buy the things that they want to entertain themselves it's hard to say but they're surely the only thing that saw a drop in spending was uh fuel and that's partly because of the price of fuel probably mm -hmm. more than and people perhaps not traveling as much uh, over some period of that and hospitality so there was that uh, last to enter the level um level one lockdown was uh, restaurants and bars. So they had restricted, uh, you know, they couldn't serve everybody they wanted. They had limited numbers that they could have. So that could have had an effect there. But certainly um, it's a big relief for retailers. But whether or not it will continue, that's another story. Yeah, and the flow on? Well, interesting. So the government released their books for May. Yep. And so that's the 11 months to May 31st. We got one more month left to hear back from the government. That's their fiscal year. Anyway, look, the official figures show the deficit is at $16 billion. Now, that still sounds pretty, you know, it's not a small number. However, it's $1.5 billion better than the uh, government had been expecting. And the reason why is it goes back to the spending that we've seen with consumers. Tax. It's GST yeah. that's uh, driven, uh, you know, has helped the deficit by one and a half billion dollars better than forecast. So that's a lot of extra tax take there. And that really does reflect the spending we've seen on goods and services. And so the net debt that we are holding right now is steady at seventy eight point seven um, billion dollars. And that's 25 percent of GDP forecast to go to 30 percent by the end of June. So at this stage, it's hard to say. Uh, the finance minister said, look, it was better than forecast for sure. But he says there's still tough times ahead. And uh, that's going to be for a lot of people. So it remains to be seen where we end up at the end of this financial right. year report. But as a percentage uh, as a percentage of GDP, while it's more than those fiscal limits that uh, this government initially set itself, it's way lower than most other international oh, countries. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, there's no doubt about that. And and so we'll see what happens. Uh, net debt is still expected to uh, rise to $28 billion for the year ending June 30. We don't have those numbers yet. It but if this continues, but you'll bring, it, better. bring them to us when it I happens. I promise I will, yes. Okay, so what about the markets? What was going okay, on Okay, so there? interesting. At the end of today, we had an update from MetLife Care. They had a special meeting today after uh, the company that was going to take them over withdrew the offer. If you can remember the yes, saga, right? The $7 offer. Took that one off the table. Put 6 bucks back on the table. That's just been recently offered. They had a special meeting today. Uh, they've decided to go ahead with the scheme of arrangement, but they're still subject to an independent uh, evaluation of the company's share value at the moment. Interestingly, the chair of um, MetLife Care, Kim Ellis, he doesn't like the offer. He thinks it's too light, and he says it's at the bottom end of the most recent valuation for the company, which was between $5.80 a share and $6.90 a share. Uh, today, the uh, company had been in a trading halt. It, it's lifted that trading halt, and that saw their share price rise 1% to $5.84. So it's quite a big story at the end of our day to have to digest, but there you go. That's cool. how it's been and, this week. And then where did our dollar and the market set off? Well, okay, so we closed down about a half a percent. That was a drop of 46 points to 11,395. And once again, it was really those energy stocks were in markdown, but not as much as yesterday. Yep. The New Zealand dollar is up at 65. Well, actually, it's a little bit less than it was yesterday at 65.5 US cents, um, 94 and a half Australian and 52.1 British pounds, which is where it's been for quite a while. Yeah. Thanks, Nona. That's Nona Peltier with our business wrap.